Hi guys, this is KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. I want to show you how to prepare a delicious yet straightforward Cantonese recipe in this video. Braised chicken with dry shiitake mushrooms. This popular home-cooked dish can easily switch up to dinner main course by using high-grade mushrooms with beautiful garnishing. Apart from soy sauce, I use traditional seasoning for Cantonese braising dishes, ginger, garlic, and scallion. Let's dive right in. Okay, I'll start to prepare the chicken first because it takes some time to marinate. Season the chicken with light soy sauce. Dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce is relatively less salty than light soy sauce and has a caramelized flavor. Some oyster sauce. and a little bit of salt. Marinade is important because the flavor does, does not have enough time to infuse into the meat within a short time of just 30 minutes of braising. I suggest to marinate the chicken for at least half a day to get the best result. Soak the dry shiitake mushrooms with water until fully hydrated. Place a heavy bowl on top to weigh down the mushrooms, otherwise the dry shiitake mushroom will float. The best way to soak them is to leave them overnight. But you can use hot water to shorten the time required. The water after soaking the mushroom is delicious and aromatic. Use it as a mushroom stock to braise the chicken. Once the mushrooms turn soft, cut out the stems. Next, Let's prepare the aromatics for braising the chicken. Most of the Cantonese style braised chicken or, or pork and beef too are flavored by the combination of ginger, garlic, and scallion. Their flavors complement each other and taste heavenly when combined with soy sauce. Let's start cooking by heat up some oil. Throw in the ginger slices. Followed by the best garlic. The scallions that's cut into sections. Once it turns aromatic and smell good, add the chicken. The chicken needs to be reasonably dry to brown on the surface, creating more flavor before braising. Be sure you only add the drained chicken and keep the remaining marinade aside. Turn the chicken occasionally for even browning over low heat to medium heat. There's no need to cook the chicken thoroughly at this stage. The goal is to brown it to create flavor. Once it is brown, add the silk mushrooms. The remaining marinade.
and the mushroom stalk that is the water that we used to soak the mushroom earlier Now add the rock sugar, one star anise, and the Shaoxing wine. Bring it to the boil, and then reduce the heat to just sufficient to keep it at barely simmering temperature. Braise the chicken and the mushrooms for 30 minutes. The temperature should be at a bare simmer throughout because rapid boiling will toughen the chicken meats. Turn the chicken from time to time to ensure even braising. By now, the amount of braising liquid should have been reduced substantially, but we still need to thicken it to make a gravy. So I remove all the chicken from the wok and cook down the braising liquid. Mix a tablespoon of cornstarch with three tablespoons of cold water to form a slurry. Add the cornstarch slurry to the braising liquid and it will become a thick sauce once the starch is cooked. Now return the cooked chicken back to the wok. Season with some sesame oil when it is nearly done. Cover the chicken with the thick gravy thoroughly and serve. Traditionally, the Chinese will put all the chicken and mushroom into a large bowl then put it at the center of the dining table and share with everyone. You can also use a smaller plate for single serving. After showing you how to prepare the Cantonese style braised chicken with dry shiitake mushrooms. If you like this recipe, I've included it in the description right below the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and give me a like. I'll see you again soon in some other similar videos and bye for now.